Today is day 24, I believe, of the quarantine. To be honest, it took me a while. I spent the first few days without knowing what to do. I was refreshing the news almost every five minutes. But I finally set along a routine that is helping me stay fit, sane, and also provides a little bit of time for some photography work. The storks say hi. In this video, I wanted to give you a glimpse of my life here in the farm and also share some images that I've been able to make these days. This path right here is where I hike every day. It's a walking path that goes through the, my parents' backyard. It's not huge, I think it's like a tenth of a mile from side to side, and I just spend a couple hours a day walking back and forth, back and forth. I walk at least six miles here. I also try to run at least 15 miles or 25 kilometers a week. Not on this path because it's not ideal for running, so I just do it around the house. It takes a few laps, but it's doable. I also exercise indoors in the house. I use an app called Adidas Training App. I like it because it has a bunch of exercises and workouts that don't require any equipment, like squats and uh, jumping jacks and uh, sit-ups push-ups, stuff like that, that I can do with just a simple mat. They are exercises I can do while traveling or when I'm confined during a quarantine. After spending 30 plus years living a mostly sedentary life, I had been trying to get some exercise, I had been trying to be more active. I exercise not only to stay healthy, but because whenever this ends, I'm going to be more than ready to go hiking on the mountains, to go hiking on the coast and do whatever it takes to make good images. I try to keep my mind busy as well. I've been reading a lot lately. I'm really into biographies now. I feel like they are great ways to get into great minds. I'm currently reading The Rise of Theodore Roosevelt. It's a very long book, a thousand pages. And while I don't love the parts about politics, I really, really enjoy reading the parts about his adventures in the West, in the Badlands, in the Dakota Territory. Reading his notes and diaries about that land and those landscapes, it, he really brings back some memories from my trip to South Dakota or my times in southeastern Oregon. I really wish I was there photographing those landscapes right now. Soon, I hope. Next on my list, since I've uh, been enjoying so much reading about nature, is any work by John Muir. I haven't read any of his books, but his work is supposed to be very good and very inspiring, so I look forward to reading him. These are some other books that I've enjoyed lately. As you can imagine, walking here day after day on the same path for so long can get a bit boring, so what I do sometimes is I listen to podcasts. I like to take notes on my phone while I listen to those podcasts because they usually give me a lot of ideas to talk about on my blog or even here. And these are some of my favorites. Photography, as usual, is still a big part of my life, and as silly as it might sound, I still carry my camera with me all the time, even on these walks just around the backyard. I'm always ready whenever inspiration strikes or the storks do something. I photograph the storks and all the other animals around here, dogs, cats, insects, whatever I can find. I also photograph flowers, the moon, the clouds, the night sky, even storms. 
Besides making images, these videos take a lot of my time and I've been going through my big collection of unprocessed images. I've also been working on books and I have the first one ready to go. You're gonna be hearing about this one pretty, pretty soon. And now, and even though they are not my best images by any means, I wanted to show you some of the images that I've been making around here. This is my new life now, this is my new normal. I am very aware that I'm very lucky to be here because I have kind of freedom of movement here outside and I can still do some photography. I think it's important to find things to focus on, things that keep you busy so you can keep going. Please feel free to share whatever you are up to these days that keep you busy and also recommendations about books, podcasts, movies, whatever. I hope you all are staying healthy and safe out there. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.